Alright, <coughs> how is everybody doing? Today we are going to be covering layouts. Um, just before I get started, I want to take the, this opportunity to apologize in advance uh, for any coughing that might occur during this. I am rather sick at the moment, but uh, I, I, we wanted to get this tutorial out as possible. As soon as, soon as possible. Well, not as possible. So, um, I think without further ado, we're going to jump straight in. So, the first thing you might ask is, what is a layout? A layout is one of two things. It's primarily a meant to be used as a 2D workspace and where, where you can arrange different channels and fixtures and add drawings and images. This allows you to create sele um, different selections and that kind of stuff. But it is also used by many people to create interactive color pickers and other awesome things. So the first thing I guess we can do is create a layout. Now a layout consists of two things, a layout view and a layout pool. So you're going to need both of them to create it obviously. So the first thing we're going to do is click anywhere and go to the other tab. Here we will select layout view and now we have created our actual layout view. The next thing we're going to do is make that a bit smaller and go to pools and create the layout pool. This is where the actual layout is stored. We're then just going to store this to a view tile and name it layouts. Okay, now once you have created the layout view, the first thing we're going to learn is how to actually assign fixtures to it. So what th it's pretty simple to do this. You're going to say we're going to go and say we're going to select the fixtures. So we're going to say duh, 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 duh. where's fixtures again? Fixture one through eight, and then we're just going to say store there. Now obviously your fixtures might be different, but for us it's fixture one through eight. We're then going to go assign assign and just label this pointies. Cool. We have now created the actual layout. So the thing with layout views is there's two ways you can actually select which layout you're, you're working with. The first one is where it's linked selected. So whichever, whichever tile you tap on, yeah, once you have more, it'll automatically go to this layout view. The other way is you, you will be able to just tap through it by just tapping on this. And the last way is you can hold down and select it. So now that we have our fixtures in the actual layout view, we're obviously going to want to move them around the, uh, and change the position. So there's two ways this can be accomplished. The first way is just manually doing it. So if we go setup, we can select the fixture. Make sure this is set to select and not move. And manually move them around to different positions. I'm just creating a random even odd kind of thing here. And the second way involves having a 3D file linked to the actual show file. So this means you can't just have the patch, you actually need to have a 3D file. For this we're going to say set up again, we're going to drag and select all of the fixtures, and then you need to be on screen 2, you're going to go to arrange, camera, and then you can select the camera for us, we're just going to use front one, you then say apply, presume to fit, and your fixtures have now been arranged in the same order as your 3D view. And that is, and that is how you um, create your. That's how you, you change your positions. Obviously, if you've got multiple camera angles, you can create multiple layout views with different ones, and then you can decide which looks best for whatever you, you're going to do. Now we're going to go into moving around within the layout view. This can actually be accomplished in a couple, a, a couple, a couple of ways. The first way is with the rotary code at the bottom of the screen. It's a bit hard to represent this on on PC. But you tap on it to activate it, and then you can zoom in and out within it. Um, the second way is with the zoom bar. There's located next to it. So if you just you can use this and just slide your finger up and down, as I'm showing you with the mouse, and you, that, that way you can zoom in and zoom out. The third way is to go to where it says select, tap on that, and now you can actually just drag your finger to move around. And that is how you move around. <laughs> The the next thing we're going to go into is customizing the layout view. There's there's a lot of the, the layout view is very customizable. If that makes sense. So there's a lot. Of, we recommend that you just go and sit and play with them and have a and try and just figure out what does what. That's the best way to do it. But we're going to go over a um a few different <coughs> sorry uh, a few different uh, basic parameters that you can adjust. The first one is going to be the grid. You can notice there's this grid back here. By default, it's set to one by one. Now, to adjust that, it's fairly it's fairly simple. Go to the, the yellow ball, then to layout data, and here you can change the grid. So we can say 
2.0 and then it changes to 2 by 1. And to get rid of the grid entirely, either put 0 in the x axis, in the grid x, or in the grid y, whichever one you do, get rid of it. Um, then after that, you might also want to remove the zoom bar. For, you might have found a zoom that works perfectly. You don't want anyone to mess it up. So to do that, it's pretty simple. We're going to go into back, we're still in the yellow ball. We're going to go to tools, and just you can toggle this off and on. Under tools as well, there's also a scroll bar, horizontal and vertical toggles. And what these allow you to do is it doesn't zoom, but it actually moves you horizontally and vertically around the layout view, so these can come in useful. One other thing to note is that the zoom is actually, wherever you zoomed, that's included in the layout when you store this. So you can see if I zoom out here, but then I'll call the view again, it stored that previous zoom. So make sure to store it once you have set up your zoom to whatever you want. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be assigning things to the layout view. Because as I said, there's a, you can assign pretty much any pool item to the, the layout view. So to do this, we're going to first create an empty layout view. So we're just going to say store, tap on a pool, and create it. So we're going to now label this and just say, let's label this macros. Because maybe we want a layout view with all our macros. Now this is where I bring in that you can tap through the different views. So you, if you've got a link selected, whichever one you select will become the actual uh, layout view that the, the actual layout for this layout view, or you can tap on here to go through, or press and hold, and then it'll come down with your options. So we're now going to go to macros. The first thing we're going to do is just get rid of the grid, and then then this is where you can change it up a bit. So the first way you can do it is let's actually just quickly bring this across, and make it a bit smaller, and let's just go copy. No, not that that to here. There's two ways to assign things. The first is to manually select them. So we're gonna so for that you're gonna need to go to a macro view, say assign, select your macro and then tap on the layout view and that'll actually just assign it to the layout view. The third way is via command line. So for that we're gonna come into here and say click click here. We're gonna say assign macro to at layout, I'm just going to type this in, layout to, and then press please, and that just assigns it to the layout over here. You can also just say assign macro, or I don't think we've got any more macros to assign, so assign effect one, and then just tap on the layout and it'll assign it to wherever you tap it. And then the same thing goes for as previously. You can just press it up and drag and move it around. And then, uh, and then once you've done that, you now have everything assigned. Um, so you, the things you can assign to it include, obviously, most generally all pool items will be assigned to it. But you cannot assign executors to allow you. I've seen this question asked quite a lot on forums and that kind of stuff. And Maybe MA will one day give us a thing where we can assign it, but as of yet, they have not. Also, like we can't color executors, but that's another whole argument. Um, and then we're going to move on to adding images to the layout view. This is also fairly simple. We're going to go store and just store a new layout again. Just save this as images. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, the one thing to also remember is you can assign images to actual pool items. So if you're going to set up and just click on do, 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 edit and then tap on the thing, it brings out your edit layout element, uh, your edit layout element, but what the, it's going to pop up, pop up. So here you can go to image icon over here, just click on that, and you can actually th scroll through the different things. So this is helpful if you want to assign, so if you've got fiction and you want to make it look like a head mover convention so you know what it is, but you can also go to your images and then this pulls up your image pool. And then from here, you're able to select what it is. So if it's a moving head, you select moving, say please, please, and then oh, I won't do it because you haven't set to simple, and then you need to set it to simple. You need to make sure the visualization is set to simple, not pool icon, and then you want now lay out, now macro, the macro looks like a moving head. So that's just a fun little thing you can do so that you can have all your fixtures represented by, by fixture models. So what we're going to do now is we're going to assign images to the layout view. So you might want to do this for whatever reason, uh, maybe you want to have like layouts pop up when you switch on the console or whatever. But th the way to do this is you have to firstly be on screen 2. We're then going to hit setup and select this box icon over here. 
you're going to draw it to whatever size you want and it will then pop up with an edit layout element pop up we're then going to say image icon and we're going to go to images and we're just going to select a random one and put, press please and it has now assigned it you can obviously import images to the layout pool and then to not the layout pool to the image pool and then those will be there and then those will be optional to add in as well and that is about it for layout views. The one other topic is interactive layout views, but that is a massive undertaking if you want to do it. Ethan, me, has already created a video on just the on the interactive color picker used by Christian Jackson. And that's up on my personal channel, and I'll put a link to that in the description. And that gives you a basic overview of how to create interactive layout views where it's copying and pasting images to different sources. Well, not to different sources, but it's copying, it's assigning images to the layout view then copying other images to those images. So it's, it's, it's pretty in-depth. It's more for those that have a pretty good understanding of of um, command line and how copying works and that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's it for Layout Views. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to receive future content like this. Obviously, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Show file will be in the description as always. And my email is there. So if you have any questions that you don't, um, maybe you why don't you email them to me for some reason? Go ahead and um, just put those in and just pop me an email anytime. And yep, yeah, thanks for watching and have an awesome one. Cheers.